been a while since we've done one of these, a nice, beautiful sports profits prep video. Um, it's time, we're back, and we wanna give you guys what we used to give you back in the day. Um, so that we're in baseball season, I'm gonna start with first five innings, and I'll talk about it in a second. The reason we're doing these, obviously, um, you know, it's great to get the free plays breakdown, but some people want a little bit more. Some people wanna get some stuff that they can take, put it in their tool belt, go to work and, and use it. And we're gonna give you some tools to use. So watching this video, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, very important. We're gonna be creating more videos just like this for you. And we're 67 and 47 on free YouTube games on the year. So that is reason alone enough to subscribe on these YouTube videos. But now that we're back to making the Sports Profits prep videos, that's even more reason. Guys, let's get right into this. Um, first five inning bets are very interesting. Sometimes they work in your favor, sometimes they work against you, depending on what you know and the data that you have. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna talk about teams and pitchers this year, right now, who are trending upward and have good data in first five innings. And I'm gonna also talk about pitchers and teams that have very poor data in first five innings. Um, so, you know, these, having the proper data, it's what it's all about. So before we go any further, for those of you who are new to betting, I'm going to explain you what first five innings is. So baseball is a nine-inning game, of course, unless we have extra innings if the, if the game is tied. But baseball is a nine-inning game. So when you're playing basketball or football, you can bet on the first half. The game is split into periods or quarters. Four quarters, four periods. The first two are the first half. So you can bet the periods. You can bet the halves. In baseball, you bet the first five innings, which means the final or the score at the end of five innings. That's, that's what matters, that's what means something. So, what happens in the sixth inning, seventh inning, eighth inning, ninth inning and beyond, completely irrelevant. And on these bets, you're gonna get a money line option, a run line option, and a total option. So you can bet a team minus, or a team on the money line, they just have to win by a run or more first five innings. If it's a tie, it's a push. Then you can have minus a half a run or plus a half a run, which means the team, if it's a push and they're minus a half a run, you lose. If it's a push and it's plus a half a run, you win. So if you're betting on the favorite, you know. And then, of course, I'm going to tell you this. I wasn't even going to include this in this video, but I'm working with a lot of players now who are on a lot of these legal state books. So it's great that they're legalizing sports betting, but the lines that these state books are offering are terrible. A lot of these state books on juice ones, they're upping it to minus one and a half on the first five innings, and then they'll set the full game at minus two and a half. Um, we had this on a Padres play the other day. It worked out. They won the first five innings by two, so they won the minus one and a half, but it shouldn't be like that. Um, let people pay the juice and get the lines they want. That's my opinion. A little advice. I'm sure that these guys aren't going to take it, but I'll give it anyway. So a very typical strategy when betting first five inning games are you're looking at the starting pitching, right? And if you have starting pitching where one starting pitcher is heads and tails above the other, um, but maybe you know the team might have some hitting issues, some bullpen issues, and you're going to go with the first five innings. If you have a team with a significant advantage in starting pitching and their bullpen's worse, that's even way more reason to bet the first five innings. So you really want to look at bullpen, starting pitching. Um, and those are the two most important things. Now, if a team has a great bullpen and great starting pitching, then you want to go um, maybe both, maybe full game. But if, then if a team has... Poor starting pitching, very good bullpen. That's when you really definitely want to stay away from the first five innings or go the other way, maybe plus a half. There's a lot of different ways to incorporate it. If a team is the dog, but you know that they have a very good bullpen, the other team doesn't have a very good bullpen, you can take the plus half on the dog first five, just hoping that they keep it tied the first five innings and you win that bet right there. So there are a lot of different strategies to approach it. Um, what I'm going to give you guys here today, I'm going to give you guys some pitchers and teams. Pitchers that are really trending upward in first five innings, teams that are trending upward, and teams that are, aren't doing so well. And I'm just going to basically do um, top five. So I'm going to give you top five pitchers and teams and bottom five pitchers and teams. So top five teams, first five inning records. The San Francisco Giants. And, and I'm going to give you money also if you were betting 100 a game, how much you would be up. So the San Francisco Giants are 40 and 21 and 11 first five innings money line. Okay, 
you would make about you'd be up about sixteen hundred dollars if you were betting them all year on the first five innings at a hundred a game. Number two are the Astros, 42, 20, and 10. You'd be up 1285 on them. Number three, the Chicago White Sox. You'd be up 1210 on them. They're 41 and 17 on the year, first five innings. Number five, the Mariners. The Mariners are only 33 and 34 first five innings, but remember, this is this is taking into account the money line as well. So they've been a dog most of the time, and they've come out on top enough to, to make 785. Um, and then number five, you have the Blue Jays, 33 and 29, plus 442. Let's talk about the bottom of the pack here. Um, bottom of the pack, you have the Pirates. You'd be down 1488. You have the Diamondbacks. You'd be down 1464. You have the Padres. It's funny because we were riding them as of late, but overall, you'd be down $1,357. The Yankees, you'd be down 1170 And the Twins, you'd be down 1057 so those are the, and we're going to, we'll provide the full charts here in the description also for you guys. Now we're going to talk about pitchers. What pitchers are faring well first five, what pitchers are not. The top pitchers for the first five innings, most profitable pitchers, Kevin Gaussman, 11 and 2. You would have made $800 if you were betting 100 a game on his first five innings. Trevor Rogers, number two. Nine and three, you'd make 670. Tyler Male, number three, uh, 589. Our boy, who we'd never go against, San Francisco Giants pitcher Anthony Descalfani, if I pronounce his name right. As an Italian, I should, but who knows. 576, you'd be up. And number five, to round it out, Steven Matz. Okay, now... On the opposite side, least profitable first five inning pitchers. These are just pitchers that have been a little bit disappointing overall. You got Jose Urena. You have lost 755 if you bet on him. Blake Snell. Okay. You have um, Jose Urena. You have Blake Snell. You have Dylan Bundy. Um, you have Carlos Martinez and Jake Arietta. So a lot of the times it's either guys with bad records or guys with okay records but they're juiced up so you're losing money so the moral of the story is be mindful of what's happening in the now hey this pitcher right here he's red hot coming out of the box this bullpen isn't we're going first five so if you're mindful of it and you understand what's happening and you understand um the the current trends also look at at that hot bats you know if the, if the game before the bats were hot, I mean, there's a better chance they're going to come out hot in the next game. So that's something to look at also. Like I said, we're going to provide you with this data in the description so you can use it for your own accord. Until next time, Ted Brooks with the Sports Profits, Sports Profits Prep. Thank you for watching. Signing out.